hate you all. <laughs> we'll get up Take on stage. Take up here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have hijacked Space and Coden's panel. Wow. So, I, can we, is this the part where we're allowed to ask questions? <laughs> um, so, my question is not for the Richard impersonator, but for the Matt Cohen, slightly Superman lookalike. So, in the episode where you played, where you played young John, and then you turned into Michael, did you ever think about the dialogue from the perspective of the automobile or the truck? If you go back to pre-Eric Kripke ever creating the episode, did you think about what he thought before he thought about writing what he thought about? <laughs> and this is kind of a two-part question. <laughs> um, You're so hot! <laughs> You don't have to answer that, it was just supposed to be kind of funny. Thank you. Thank you, next. I love you. You know what, man? I was gonna ask a question, but you just killed it. I'm done. <laughs> Thank you, lady. Stop right here, you. Get back up here. This is funny to me because Rob already is like suffering from a fragile, you know, emotional system. And it's great that when somebody dresses like Rob, they just put on boxer shorts and, around and try to look as hungover as possible. Like for you, like the John Winchester, she had her hair. You know, the trickster, you looked all great in the outfit in the home, but Pellegrino's got the makeup. You're just like, how do I look like my crazy uncle? <laughs> like this. Yeah, I'm sure. Last night, you know, I just woke up, went. Don, you know what? That's how he showed up on set. <laughs> you have so much in common. Thank you so much. Well done.